Hello investors, welcome to Business Learnings. In this video, we'll try to understand whether we should be investing in Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dogecoin and many other cryptocurrencies or not, whether investing in cryptocurrencies makes sense at all or not. And this video is going to be the first video in a series of videos that I'll be creating for cryptocurrencies. Uh, I'll be covering how do crypto work, how do they derive their value and whether it makes sense to invest in them or not. What are some good cryptocurrencies? Also, I'll be talking about what are the cryptocurrencies that I have been tracking and am invested in. Right. So this is the very first video of the series and it will cover the macroeconomic scenario that you need to understand if you want to invest in any asset class, including crypto. Right. So make sure that you watch the video throughout the end so that you get understanding of why this cryptocurrency market makes sense and why we should not be ignoring them right and watch the video throughout the end so that you get complete understanding and do subscribe to the channel now before moving to crypto we'll first have to understand how equity markets and gold behave you will ask me what is the relation between equity market and gold and what does it have to do with uh, with investing in cryptocurrencies there is a very deep relation and you will understand it in the next few minutes just stay with me so this is the chart of nifty 50 the candles and the yellow one is the chart of gold bees gold bees is the most popular exchange traded gold fund right so in proxy it tells us was the relative price of gold in inr indian rupee right if we look at the pattern if, if you look, in fact, the entire pattern, you will see that this was the time when uh, just before the global financial crisis in 2008 and the equity markets were at their all time highs, the gold market was not at its all time highs. It was not performing well. It was the difference was quite big. And as the markets crashed, gold picked up, right? Gold really picked up. When the market started to recover, gold also went with it but it did not perform as much as the equity markets performed. When the equity markets, the performance of equity markets was, was, uh, was not as good, gold started to perform. And you can see a similar trend. Similarly, in, the, in, in March 2020, when COVID-19 hit the markets, hit the entire world, the markets crashed, but the gold performed very well. Just after that, when the markets started recovering, showed a very steep recovery, gold did not perform well. What we can understand from this is gold could be a good hedge against the equity market. If the equity markets fall, gold prices will rise and the equity market prices go up, the gold prices will crash or not perform up to the mark. That's point number one. Point number two is gold shows a similar trend with respect to inflation. Right, And in the last a uh, few weeks we have already seen that inflation is really picking up uh, the reason inflation is picking up is you know when COVID-19 hit the global economy a lot of companies were shut down there was a worldwide lockdown business activities economic activities were affected and due to that GDP of the entire world took a big hit to stimulate the economy, governments across the world they printed a lot of money. This is also known as quantitative easing. They printed a lot of money, a lot of money. And this was true. This was valid for all the governments. In fact, majority of the governments across the world. What it essentially meant was even after the economy recovered, recovered the amount of goods and services, they just gradually improved. Right? The amount of goods and services produced they just gradually improved but the amount of money in the economy that increased by almost 80 to 90 percent now if you have a lot of money but the same amount of goods right if you had 100 rupees in the economy and you had one kg of apple now you have 200 rupees and just one kg of apple obviously the demand of apple the price of apple is going to increase and that's what has been happening and that's why inflation is rising in the past few months and gold has been seen as a very decent hedge of inflation but we are not seeing the price movements in gold in fact the gold prices are more or less range bound 
within this this box the gold prices are not moving by much why the reason is a lot of institutional investors are not seeing gold as an inflation hedge anymore there are groups of financial uh, foreign institutional investors who still see gold as an uh, hedge against inflation but most of them are now moving towards cryptocurrencies and that's why you will see that the market cap of cryptocurrencies is slowly increasing and technically speaking it's it has already formed a cup and a handle shape which means that in the next one one and a half year we can expect the returns to be almost uh, we can expect the returns to be almost 50 percent in the crypto market right now you may ask me I do not believe in cryptocurrencies. I do not understand it. Even Mr. Warren Buffett or Charlie Munger, they do not believe in crypto cryptocurrencies. Why should I be investing in it? I'm not saying you to invest into it. I'm just asking you to be aware of what's happening across the world. A lot of institutional investors are not, uh, instead of directing their money towards gold, they are now directing their money towards cryptocurrencies. Does that mean that Cryptocurrencies are better than better than gold or Bitcoin is better than gold. I'm not saying so. I'm just saying that you need to be aware of this market and you need to understand how this works. And uh, in the next few videos, I'm going to cover exactly how in some manners Bitcoin is better than gold. In some manners, it might not be better. And which are the cryptocurrencies am I investing in right now? So make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss out on the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.